What I really believe is when you work on songs, you go back to the original. So when George Gersh Gershwin did this, and it was in Porgy and Bess, whatever, mm -hmm. there was the... Uh, Now the jazz thing is just a Which is fine, but it's been done like this so many. And ultimately it's a lullaby. Your kid's not gonna go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're not gonna go to sleep at that tempo. So you know, I, I love songs so much and that you know that I'm working every day arranging and stuff and I gotta think of things, you know, and uh, come with ideas. And get the artists. It have to have to build something around the artist that that gives them a foundation, so their, their voice works in.
That's that down, down two shoals. That's it, yeah. Oh my God. Down two shoals. You can't nail that. That's right. I don't think I have muscle shoals anymore. That's right. Yeah, right. Okay, now under the cheesy tunes. Oh, we can do that too. Cheese is good. Can you try it? Yep. I hope that you've enjoyed the sneak peek behind the scenes of the making of my new jazz CD, Don't Explain. And so Tucker will cry, I know, to say her name. Over the next few weeks and months, we are going to go back into the studio to finish off the rest of the tracks, record my final vocals, and do our finished mix. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my producer, Bill King, for arranging all the songs on my new album. I'd like to thank all the wonderful musicians for their artistry and dedication. I'd like to thank my engineer and Inception Sound for the amazing sound quality on my new album. I'd also like to thank my vocal coach, James McDonald, for all of his help along the way. My family and friends have been instrumental in all of the support and encouragement that they've given me throughout this project. And most of all, I'd like to thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm.